we were just finishing up the end of our 12 songs in Sausalito for Rumors. And I said, we're done. I think that this is over. And we both know now that we're gonna keep, we're gonna, no matter what it takes, we're gonna keep Fleetwood Mac together. And our breaking up is not gonna break up this band. And I'm not gonna quit and neither are you. And we were done. And, and it's really hard, you know, when you break up with somebody or somebody breaks up with you and you're in this band. And guess what? Guess who you have to see the next day in the hotel, in the breakfast room? That person. It's really hard. And by the way, guess who you get to go on stage with tomorrow night? The person that either broke up with you or you broke up with. And you have to go on stage and just be like, fantastic. Because really, the band meant everything. And the band was way more important than each separate person's problems. And we knew that. So we never, ever, with everything that happened to us, ever let love affairs break Fleetwood Mac up. But Lindsay always blamed Fleetwood Mac for the loss of me, that had we not joined Fleetwood Mac, we would have continued on with our music, but we probably would have gotten married, and we probably would have had a child, and it would have been a different life. And it's very possible that we might have gotten married and had a family and still done our music. You know, we were still young enough then that destiny could have taken us another way. Destiny did not take us that way. Destiny took us straight into Fleetwood Mac. So I, I feel that that is what was supposed to happen. Otherwise, both of us would have fought harder. You know, when I said to him, I'm joining Fleetwood Mac, and uh, so are you, he, would, he might have said, you know, well, no. And he didn't, he, he said, okay. So I think that he knew that I was right. Lindsay and I will, will always be like connected like this, you know? And we still are. 